Have you ever filmed somebody that's been wearing sunglasses and when you look back at the footage you can see yourself in the reflection? Well, it's super annoying but it's not the end of the world because in today's video I'm going to show you how to remove those reflections. Hey what's up, it's Chris from Rocker Films and yes in today's video I'm going to show you how to remove reflections from sunglasses in Adobe After Effects. So once we're inside of Adobe After Effects we want to create a new composition we will rename this sunglasses and we'll just make sure that is 1920 by 1080. And then from here, we just want to import our footage onto the timeline and create a new adjustment layer. And then from here, we just want to go up into layer, new adjustment layer, and we want to do this two times. So we want to have two adjustment layers. And now from here, we want to go into the first adjustment layer and just rename this to left. And then we'll just rename the second adjustment layer to right. And now from here, we just want to trim these so that they're not overlapping the video. And in the right adjustment layer, we want to go through, we want to select the pen tool. And we just want to basically draw around the glasses. So we just want to take our time and we just want to draw around the sunglasses there. There you go, that's perfect. And now from here, we can go into right, go into masks, mask one, and create a keyframe on the path. And then we basically just want to go through and we just want to update the keyframes when the video is moving. So as the video progresses, the keyframe should be following the sunglasses. And there you go. Once that is now complete, we can go into effects and presets and search for blur. And then we'll just add the camera lens blur on top of that adjustment layer. And as you can see, that's added that blur onto the sunglasses. Now we can increase or decrease the blur radius by pulling on this tab here. And then once you're happy with that value, we can go back into the mask and we can just pull up the mask feather to around 17%. This is basically just blurring the outside of that mask, making it more seamless within the scene. You're not going to see that hard edge, so it's not going to seem unrealistic. And now if we play this back, you can see that that adjustment layer is following the sunglasses and all of those reflections have disappeared. And then I'm just going to go through and do the exact same thing with the left. I'm just going to go and draw a mask around, animate that on, add the blur, add the feathering to the mask. And there you go. The effect is now complete. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and push that bell icon to stay updated on all future uploads. Thank you ever so much for watching. I really do truly appreciate it. I hope you're having the most incredible day today. I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.